Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another Dokkan in depth. Today we are going to be going over the Quiet Crit Goku or the LR Goku. Now, this is the Goku that goes from Super Saiyan 1, or not even Super Saiyan 1, from base form to TUR in base form, all the way to Super Saiyan 3 Goku Golden Fist. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to go over all of the SSR to LR, how to Dokkan Waken him, and linking buddies. And a theoretical guide if you want to go with uh, the S tier units I would recommend. Anyway, his leader ability when you first pull him is Super Tech Type Key plus 2, HP Tech and Defense plus 70%, or Extreme Tech Type Key plus 1, uh, HP Tech and Defense plus 50%. Super Tech and AMA, Supreme Damage to the Enemy, uh, Passive Skill, Perception of Opportunity, uh, Defense plus 80% at the start of the turn, Attack plus 100%, and Defense minus 50% when performing a Super Attack. So the way that this mechanic works is you automatically get a defense plus 80% at the start of the turn. When you launch a super attack, you do attack plus 100%, but you get a defense minus 50%. So you get your defense cut in half from whatever stat your defense plus 80% buff is. So you're not actually getting a full cut. You're getting like, so your defense over here, let's say your defense was 4,000. You get a defense plus four, and then you do an 80% attack buff. So you do 4,000 times 1.8, whatever that number comes out to, let's just call it like 7,000 or something like that. And then do 50% minus when you launch a super attack, which means that 7,000 goes down to 3,500. So it's really not that great. So when you take that into consideration, you're actually losing more than you're taking. If it was, if his passive was a defense plus 100%, and then when you launch, it's minus 50%. It would return you to zero. But you have a net loss of, I would, what is that, about 10% loss in defense about. Uh, that's just off the top of my head. There's no actual math behind that. But yeah, I think it's about a 10% loss. Uh, anyway, link skills are all in the family. Say lineage experience fighters can may have prepared for battle. Honestly, his link skills are crap. Uh, not that great. He is part of the pure saying category. Uh, his stats are HP of 6596, attack of 8992, and defense of 4124. You can increase his super attack with any of these other Gokus. You can go ahead and grind out, specifically the uh, Overflowing Resolve epic, go, uh, epic Event Goku. You can go ahead and do this event and grind him out if you want to as like a 1% rate to increase his super attack while he's in SSR form. Um, or you can go ahead and grind out the Desired Battle Goku, which is from the uh, Universe Survival Saga event. Now, he is a pain in the butt to grind out. He doesn't have a guaranteed drop rate. But he will have a 50% ability to increase his super attack by uh, 50, you know, by 50%. So uh, you can go ahead and grind him out if you want to. He's available from stage three, Bergamo the Crusher, um, and you use Universe Survival Saga to get increased drop rate. But anyway, he requires 10 Frieza Chair Medals in order to awaken him. That's from the Enough Talk Time for an Epic Showdown event, which is the beginner course on Dokkan Battle. Go ahead, grind out uh, level two Super Saiyan Goku on Z Hard. And that's where you can get those medals. You can drop anywhere up to three of those medals. When you go in Dokkan Wake, I mean, Dokkan Wake is in a daily training Goku. His leader ability is now Super Tech, type, uh, Super Tech Type Key plus 3, HP Tech and Defense plus 90%. Extreme Tech Type Key plus 2, HP Tech and Defense plus 60%. Super Tech is Instant Transmission, Kamehameha, Supreme Damage to the Enemy, Passive Skill, Instant Chance of Victory. Defense plus 100% at the start of the turn. Attack plus 120% and Defense minus 60% when performing a Super Attack. So it stinks, it doesn't get any better. If they kept defense minus 50% instead of increasing or even lowered it, it would be awesome. But a defense plus 100% means it doubles what it is, and then you're taking 60% of that, so you still have about a 10% loss. So that, that kind of actually sucks um, when performing a super attack. But he does hit very hard. Attack plus 120% with supreme damage is nothing to laugh at. Uh, link skills are all in the family. Experienced fighters. Kamehameha, Saiyan Lineage, Prepared for Battle, and Shattering Limit, and he's part of the Pure Saiyan category. Max stats are HP of 7763, Attack of 10,088, and Defense of 4822, with a 12 key multiplier of 140%. When you want to go Dokkan Awaken him, he Dokkan Awakens with three metal, or three separate medals from three separate Dokkan events. The first one being the OG Surpassing All Super Saiyan 3 Goku event. Very easy, um, especially if you have any type of 70% leader or higher, you can just demolish these events, even with type disadvantage. Uh, then this event, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel, uh, a little bit harder, is a 120 lead event. You're going to need to get uh, those medals. Let's see, you need 21, so you need to beat the event three times in order to beat him. Um, let's see, he has one, two, three, four stages here. Uh, it's definitely going to be more of a battle, but you can go ahead and do it, get those medals. Next one, the last one, is also going to be the Harutagarn event. Now, I did do a review of this. In order for you to go and beat this event, you're going to need to go and get 
flutes um, in order for the Tapion's flute from his actual event in order to reduce his barrier. That way you can go and attack him and you'll actually be able to do some damage without his freaking ass dodging you every, freaking, uh, every single turn. But yeah, you'll have to go ahead and grind out at least 21 of them in order to get him to Doken Wake. And finally, Doken Wakens when he does that to Golden Fist Super Saiyan 3. Goku leader ability is Super Technique Type Key plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 100%. Uh, extreme Tech Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 70%. That's really not that bad for Extreme Types either. Uh, I, uh, the only thing is I, there's really not that many Extreme Types that I would actually consider running on this team. Instant Transmission Kamehameha from 12 to 17 Key, and Dragon Fist from 18 Key mo or more. So, um, here we go. Well, let's see. Colossal Damage, Rare Chance to Stun when you're just doing Instant Transmission. Um, when you do Dragon Fist, Mega Colossal Damage the enemy and greatly lowers Defense. Uh, passive Skill, Certain trump, uh, Triumph, Certain Triumph. Uh, defense plus 120% at the start of the turn. Awesome. He is a tank. Um, this is awesome. Attack plus 180% and defense minus 70% when performing an ultra super attack. So at this point, I now I don't know about the math here. Uh, 180% is almost two times uh, what you're getting. So if you do about 50%, you're good. You, I don't think you're losing as much. I think you actually still get a defense gain here. Um, let's go ahead and do the math real quick. So if we go out and get our calculator... And let's do it by a thousand. So if you do a thousand times 1.8, right? And then you have eight, uh, that's uh, 1800. And then you multiply that by 0.7, you have 1260. So you still have about a 26% um, buff, I believe it comes out to, a defensive buff. And that's just an estimate, or maybe, yeah, a 26% of buff. Uh, so it's not horrible. Um, it's still there, so you do lose a little bit, but I think at this point, because he's an LR, you get a little bit more of a defensive buff. It's pretty awesome when performing the Ultra Super Attack. So the Ultra Super Attack is only the Mega Colossal Dragon Fist, by the way. Link skills are Super Saiyan Experience Fighters, Kamehameha, Over in a Flash, Limit Breaking Form, Shattering Limit, and Legendary Power. Wow! Link skills are so much better. Uh, category is Super Saiyan 3 and Pure Saiyans. Max stats are HP of 14,775, Attack of 17,060, and Defense of 8913. Uh, maximum super attack level is 20, which which increases the super attack multiplier by an additional 30%. Highly recommend doing that. Um, I already told you about the buffs, so you don't have to worry about that with the defensive stuff. 12 key multiplier is 150%, tw uh, 24 key is 200%. Um, and honestly, guys, yeah, I mean, if you have questions about dupe system, yes, dupe system. The SOB, all like crazy, do it. Uh, best linking buddies in game, as you see over here, we're going to switch over my Dokkan Battle Builder uh, view. Uh, Super Saiyan 3s are pretty much the three over here that are really awesome to link with. The non-Super Saiyan 3s are right here. That is the Intelligence God Q, which I really don't run too often. He has over and a flash, Shattering Limit, Kamehameha, Super Saiyan. He really doesn't have any uh, defensive links, which kind of sucks, but he at least will get the super attacks off. He'll be getting five key when, when linked with him. Future Gohan, not a big fan of him. He gives him two key, 20% attack buff, and Kamehameha for 2,500. And the LR Majin Vegeta, uh, which is a 10% attack buff for Super Saiyan over to Flash and Shattering the Limit. And you have Legendary Power. You also have the other regular Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which links them for four link skills. He has shares over to Flash. He has Kamehameha and Limit Breaking Form. Both kind of suck. Uh, it's a 4,500 uh, attack buff with a 10% attack buff on top of it. The Super Saiyan 3s, the Bardock, is actually really awesome with over and a flash and 20% attack buff ultimate breaking form. The Super Saiyan 3 Goku, um, I have mine 100%, so I would run him on primary rotation. Remember, he has the passive of attack plus 30%. Um, and he has Super Saiyan, um, over and a flash, Kamehameha, and limit breaking form. So while those uh, flat out buffs I'm not a big fan of, at least they are there. Then you get 3 key and 10% attack buff, plus his passive, which is freaking phenomenal. And then you have the other Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which is the same exact thing. So honestly, I'd probably just run the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Strength Goku alongside him, just because mine's 100% and it'd be pretty awesome how much more damage he would do. Plus, chances are you're either going to be running him on a Super Saiyan 3 team or on a Mono Technique team. There's really nothing else you would really run him on except for maybe a pure Saiyan team, which we don't have available on Global yet. Um, in terms of Mono Technique team, there are a lot of people he links with three or more link skills with. Um, the one we already talked, the two that we already talked about for four or more are the future Gohan and the uh, other Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Honestly, I'm not going to run them on a team, which is some of the honest truth. Um, the other one is the TUR variant of this Goku, but honestly, for the Super Saiyan 3 LR Goku, if you get two of them, I definitely recommend doing dupe system instead of using them for linking buddies. They only share three link skills, and it's experienced fighters, Kamehameha, and Shattering Limit. Definitely not worth it. There are better units to link with, so definitely go dupe system on him before you Doken Awaken him if you got lucky enough to pull two. The other ones are the Super Saiyan 2 Goku, which is tech and strength type key plus 3, which is a good support unit for the LR Goku. 
Um, and then you have the Super Saiyan 2 Goku, which is key plus 2 and attack plus 20% for all allies when HP is 50% or above. So both of these are really good support units that give key, which is definitely something you want on this team, especially if you're running, I mean, even if you're running uh, a double Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku uh, lead, you want more key so that way they can get their 18 plus off. You also have the LR Goku, the OG Prime Battle LR Goku, which you can run if you want to. Uh, definitely outdated, but attack plus 10,000, defense plus 3,000 facing one enemy. Nothing bad. That's really not that bad. You have the Vegito Blue, which can, do, well, which will do a lot of damage once he gets his full passive in play. The Super Saiyan 3 regular Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and the Super Saiyan 3 or the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. All of them are good technique link uh, linking buddies with him. Um, in terms of team building, these are all the different teams, uh, well, linking buddies, linking guides that I would recommend. I'm trying to get them all on screen for you. Um, the Super Saiyan 3 LR Goku link very well, decently with most of these guys on the team. Probably run the Super Saiyan 3 regular Goku alongside him. You could pretty much link whoever you want, whatever you think is going to be the best bet. Um, in terms of best linkings uh, throughout the rest of these, because I haven't done a mono team in a while, uh, you'll see the Super Vegito, the new Super Vegito with the Super Gogeta. They share five link skills, which, damn, well, let's see. Super Saiyan, Over in a Flash, Fierce Battle Fused, Fighter, Kamehameha. Yeah, so that's what, 25% attack buff, five key, and a flat out 2,500 buff. They will always be getting super attacks off. And if you're running a double Super Saiyan 3 Goku lead, these two are just always going to get super attacks off all the time. Uh, you have the Grade 8 Bardock with the Karoli if you want to run the two of them together. Um, then you have the Super Saiyan Goku base form with the Bardock, as always, because he's a key orb manipulator. And the, um, well, just the LR Goku, obviously. Uh, the Bardock can also link very well with his Trunks. Um, and you also have the GT Go uh, Vegeta, which is someone who I personally really like um, for this team. Uh, for actually any team, because this Vegeta get doesn't get enough attention, in my, in my opinion. He does attack plus 90% when HP is 99% or below, which is almost all the time. So unless you have like a, use a Sensu Bean, he's going to be launching a decent amount of damage. On the right-hand side, you have two support units that you could run over here. You do have the other two Gokus, like I said. Um, I just prefer these guys because this is uh, the Trunks is tech type or tech and strength type. He plus two attack and defense plus 25%. There's no restrictions. And the Vegito, you don't need that. You don't actually don't need the key here. But the Vegito just does attack and defense plus 30% for all allies. And then Whis doesn't buff anyone, but he just he just um, stuns everyone, which is freaking phenomenal. So that's everyone you can run. If I had a choice, I would probably do something like this. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, just because I have him 100% and I do not want to waste my orbs. Bandai really needs to make this thing where you can get the orbs back out of units that you have put in. Like, you know, I, I get it. They would probably make it like a, like a lot of dragon stones, like 15 dragon stones, 20. Hell, I could even see them making it 50 dragon stone. But um, I think that they need to make it so that way you can take out all the orbs you put into someone so you can get them back and reinvest them somewhere else. Um, but you know what? We can't do that. So I'm gonna, I would put him on the team. I have to put him on the team. Um, I have him. I don't have him, but I'm, this is for you guys. If you have him, put him on the team. With the Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. You also have the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Gotenks, which you could put next to the Gogeta or the Vegito as well. All four of these guys link very well together. Um, and this is just not considering having him as your primary. Him as a primary with all these S-tier units, he can link with any of these guys that you really want to. Um, it's really up to you on how you want to run it. That's 10% 3 key. This guy is 10% and 3 key. This is 10% and 3 key. And this is 10% and 3 key. So yeah, 10% and 3 key with all these, and that's not that bad. And if you're running a double LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku lead, you really don't need to worry about too much. Um, you should be good. I'm sorry about the sound effects in the background. I'm running out of storage space on my computer. Um, outside of that, uh, you have the two support units, and, and this is just filler for another Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, you will have to take one of these guys out. Uh, I don't know which one I would take out. I don't have the Vegito, Vegito Blue. So this is what I would end up running if I had um, the LR variant. But that's what I could recommend. Or you could just take out this Trunks and throw the, the Vegito in there and link them as you see fit. But anyway, guys, that is it. Thank you for joining me here today. I want to get this video done before my computer crashes out on me. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and what teams you're running with. Anyway, I'll catch you all later. Peace.